How's everybody? So we've got a brand new look at She-Hulk. We only have a few weeks until the show actually debuts on Disney+. Plus. I am still excited about this show, other than like the shoddy CGI effects we saw in that first trailer. It does look like a lot of fun. So I'm hoping that the VFX have been improved with this new look at the show. And also we're going to get to see some more fun tidbits of Jennifer Walters. And maybe we'll get maybe some hints of Daredevil if he's supposed to be in the show, because that's what I've heard. But I'm really excited about the show either way. So let's get into this trailer so we can actually talk about it. Here we go. Well, I remember this scene from the first trailer. <laughs> what the hell, man? Feeling no control, no overwhelming feelings of rage. No, a normal amount of rage. Well, the CG looks a little bit better. When you sleep. Was the air horn really necessary? For comedy, absolutely. <laughs> this is a multi-year journey you're about to embark on. There's still some uncanny valley-ness, <laughs> but... Nikki. Of course, Hulk's got to teach her about spandex. You have so much more to learn. All right. So I'm clearly nailing it at all these things. Oh, she's doing the clap. If you want to go back to life as a lawyer? I, I respect that. He doesn't mean that. <laughs> Yeah, break the fourth wall. More and more eccentric superhumans are coming out of the woodwork. Oh, shit. We are going to launch a division for them. And I want the She-Hulk to be the face of Jennifer Woolworth. All right. It's an abomination. I have a serious conflict of interest. This man tried to kill my cousin, Bruce. Yeah, that's quite all right. Oh. Yeah, big conflict of interest care there. Because I'm representing Emil Blonsky. I think they care because they're like, hey, that girl's green. Oh, Titania. Do your thing. God, I really like this outfit. I'm not proud of this. <laughs> this one does. Wong, yeah. Wong doesn't know anything about that. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, you're now a superhero. Let's do this. Ooh. You know that friend you had in high school? Who was way cooler than you were, attracted, got all the attention from everyone. Oh. Hello. <laughs> I think I'm jealous. Is that what I'm feeling? All right. That looks like a lot of fun to me. Turn it low. Is that Daredevil? That's Daredevil! Oh, we don't get to see the full look. For me, at least, I think that was a much better trailer than the first one we got. We got a much better look at everything in the show, whether it be the story and also the characters. I do think the VFX are a bit improved here. There are some moments where it is still a bit uncanny valley, but I mean, you can't really stop that fully with a character like She-Hulk to begin with. But it looks like a lot of fun. It looks like it captures the heart and charm of She-Hulk as a character and also the fact that she is breaking the fourth wall, which is always one of the, my favorite parts about the comic books when I did read she-Hulk. And we got tidbits here at the very end of Daredevil, so he is actually going to show up. And what we saw of the suit, it looked pretty good. It is yellow and brown, which is, you know, not my favorite Daredevil color scheme, but I am still excited to see Daredevil in this show before he gets his own show in a couple years. Now you've heard my thoughts, make sure you share your thoughts down below. What do you think of this new look at She-Hulk? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it's a bit better than the first trailer that we saw not that long ago? Or are you still kind of on the fence, you know, with the CGI and the story and all that stuff? Either way, Share your thoughts down below. Find this time in the conversation with you guys in the comment section down below. Thank you guys always checking out the videos. Make sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. So you're always updated reviews, reactions, unboxings, and more. Next time, I'll see you guys later.